great. Let's get started. Um, hi, my name is Sid Goel. I'm one of the partners and BI Architects at KPI Partners. Uh, thank you for attending the webinar today on um, improving the effectiveness of your Salesforce with Salesforce.com Sales Analytics. So agenda-wise today, uh, we'll just start with a quick round of introductions, uh, spend about two minutes on who is KPI Partners, um, then we'll dive into the business benefits of Salesforce.com analytics and show some sample reports and dashboards. And then we will talk a little bit about what's under the covers in terms of what is Salesforce.com sales analytics. We'll do a demo um, and then summarize with you know why Salesforce.com sales analytics. We've seen uh, customers see a lot of value in the solution and then we'll open it up to, to Q&A. So let's, let's get right down to why would, what is the business value and the business benefits of uh, Salesforce.com sales analytics. So we see three benefits as we speak to customers over and over again. The first uh, benefit, we see customers saying, really, um, I need um, not just Salesforce.com analytics, but I need an end-to-end -end view of my business processes. Um, so I need full visibility from um, lead to cash or campaign to cash. Uh, I need to be able to see the effectiveness of my marketing function in terms of, well, how much did I spend on marketing? How many leads did I get? And how many resulted in order and, and ultimately invoices from paying customers? The third major benefit we see is the a better ability. In fact, in some cases, it's a critical ability to forecast revenue. And what I mean by that is, a lot of customers have a recurring revenue model, um, so for instance, such as a software company where they've got recurring revenue in terms of maintenance contracts from customers and then opportunity revenue where they're looking at new opportunities. And the only way you can really get a, a complete picture of how much revenue I'm expecting um, at the end of the month or quarter is to look at both systems together to be able to tell what my total revenue picture is. Otherwise, you're only getting, if you only look at orders, you're going to miss pipeline. If you only look at pipeline, then you're missing orders. We also see customers um, that have standardized on OBIE as a reporting tool and really want to use OBIE across all applications, including Salesforce.com. is the second major benefit that we see for customers. And the third benefit that we see is um, Salesforce.com is essentially transactional reporting, so it's missing some of the key benefits you get from a uh, full data warehouse solution, such as uh, the ability to take snapshots of your pipeline for better pipeline trending in terms of, well, wh where was my pipeline at last month and where is it at this month in terms of the number of open opportunities, the number of um, opportunities in different stages, and so on. So let's talk about the first benefit. So a typical business process um, for a customer um, goes from campaign to cash. So the customer will run a campaign that will generate leads, which will then uh, become opportunities. And ultimately, those opportunities become orders, then invoices, and then they collect cash from customers. Now, of course, um, the red line in the middle shows that, in fact, the first three steps are in Salesforce.com, uh, where you can run campaigns, uh, generate leads, get opportunities. But the rest of this business process doesn't stop at Salesforce.com. It continues into your ERP system, whether it's uh, Oracle, EBS, PeopleSoft, JD Edwards, SAP, whichever system you're using, that's where you typically store the orders, invoices, and cash. Salesforce will allow you to do quotes, but it doesn't typically, we don't typically see customers using Salesforce to, to actually do orders and certainly not for invoicing and cash collection. So to get a complete view of your business uh, in terms of conversion rates, so if I want to see what my opportunity to order conversion rates are, what my lead to order conversion rates are, all of those, as well as, as we talked earlier, if I want a full picture of revenue and I want to see both ordered an invoice revenue, for instance, and combine that with opportunity revenue, 
because that is really what's going to give me my total revenue picture. That is only really possible through an integrated view that spans Salesforce in your ERP system. And the other thing that we see from a pure sales effectiveness perspective is we see sales forces and sales organizations typically asking the same fundamental four questions with industry variations. And this is something, you know, um, from my Siebel days, this, these are the four, at least the four top questions we've seen from customer after, uh, after customer from a pure sales force perspective. Uh, and I mean from a sales function perspective. So the first question is how are we doing, right? How's our pipeline? But really, that question often can only be answered by both looking at pipeline and orders. Then the next question is the forecast question. The sales manager is asking, well, are we going to hit our sales goals? Well, again, you need to look at, in many cases, not just pipeline, but orders and invoices. The next question we hear from sales forces is, well, what should I be focusing on? Um, should I be uh, focusing on certain accounts? Um, should I be, you know, how is my lead conversion process, is my lead generation process broken? Because, you know, I generate all these leads, spend all this money on marketing, but in reality, um, you know, uh, either the sales force isn't following up on those leads and turning them into orders, or uh, we're not generating very high quality leads to begin with from an end-to-end -end perspective again. Um, how can we sell more effectively? You know, which campaigns are ultimately the most effective, not just in generating pipeline, but actually uh, getting you to closed orders and revenue um, uh, that's coming into the company? So uh, again, these four sales questions um, we find to get a really com to get a truly complete answer, you need both Salesforce and um, and the ERP system together giving you that complete answer.